Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see the near future actions being taken toward you when it comes to love. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so let's go ahead and get into these messages. Give me messages please, Holy Spirit. For everyone that watches this reading, when it comes to the person who is thinking of my viewers, what near future actions will that person be taking toward my viewers when it comes to love? What near future actions will be taken toward my viewers when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. All right, so let's see what comes out here. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have unfinished business. So someone's gonna be making their way back to you. And it's someone you already have history with. They're reminiscing about you a lot and they feel like things are not over. This person could come with a lot of baggage or there's been a lot of back and forth between the two of you. At the top of the deck, we have spiritual awakening. So it's giving energy of this person being in the middle of learning a lesson. They could be going through a spiritual awakening, but as of now, this person's just in their head. Give me more. What near future actions will be taken toward my viewers when it comes to love? Thank you. All right, we have grass is greener. So someone's going to be coming in letting you know that they're unhappy. This person could have thought that they could find greener grass, but they're disappointed. Now, if this person had options between you and someone else, they feel as though you're the better option. But at the same time, this person knows that you deserve better. For a few of you, they could be doing things to try and make you jealous or they could do that in the future. At the top of the deck, we have change. So it's giving energy of this person trying to convince you that they've made some type of change or that they've grown in some way. At the bottom of the deck, with surrender being here, it's just giving energy of this person Thinking that you're going to end up letting them go or they could feel as though you're giving up on them. So they could come in trying to change your perspective in regards to being with them. Hmm. So, yeah, they feel like you have clarity or that you've found out some type of secret. So therefore, they feel like you're releasing the connection that you have with them. Hmm. Give me more. But yeah, this person's really unhappy. Thank you. We have secret crush. They're admiring you. They're going to come in showing you that they're still attracted to you. But keep in mind that this is someone who can be a bit of a charmer. I wouldn't be surprised if when you do reconnect with them, they're listening to music. Or for a few of you, they could sing you some song lyrics. But if it's not that, I just feel like this person is really good with words. At the top of the deck, we have divine intervention. If there has been a disconnect between the two of you, I feel like it's to protect you from this person's karma. It's going to be very important for you to have boundaries with them. Because if you're not careful, you could unknowingly make this person's karma a bit of your karma. And what I mean by that is whatever they're going through currently, if you were to try and help them or if you make their problems your problem, you could start feeling some of this person's karma and you don't want that. So be really careful when it comes to connecting with this person. 
spirit wants you to allow them to go through whatever they're going through so that they can learn a lesson. Give me more. They're also going to come in being charming with their words. But underneath the surface, this is someone who's a disaster. With the card coming out crossing, this person feels as though the two of you are meant to be, but they don't treat you as such. It's also giving energy of some of you wishing that you would have never met this person in the first place. They feel like you're a part of their destiny. With intuition being at the bottom of the deck, some of you may have a gut feeling that this person is about to come toward you. It's also giving energy of them having dreams about you or some type of premonition. They could come toward you acting in an unusual manner or they could say something that's a bit shocking. At the top of the deck, we have storm warning. I'm telling you, this person is going through a lot of upheaval and I feel like they're like a wrecking ball. Everywhere they go, they wreak havoc. They're going through a lot of obstacles right now or they could be involved in some type of drama so that's another reason why spirit wants you to be careful when it comes to entertaining this person. Hmm. For a few of you, you may have predicted something in regards to what this person would go through. It's giving energy of you speaking something and it coming to fruition and this person being shocked by that. You could have even predicted them going through some type of upheaval or encountering some type of obstacle. So they're a little bit shocked in regards to your psychic abilities. I feel like they know that you have spiritual gifts, but they like to downplay them. Or this is someone who denies your gifts altogether. But there's something coming toward them that you've already predicted. Hmm. But whatever it is, it has to do with some type of storm that they're going to be going through. So, yo, just make sure that you be really careful dealing with this person. If you get any type of gut feeling that you don't need to be connecting with them or that you're needing to keep your distance, listen to that gut feeling. Give me more. Thank you. All right, we have toxic relationship. So this is someone who's toxic. They could come in trying to fight for this connection, but they're going to end up triggering you in some way. There could be a misunderstanding between the two of you in the near future. But for others of you, like I said, they want to come in fighting for this, but they're going to go about doing it in the wrong way. This is someone who thinks that fighting for the connection should mean that you should surrender all control, okay? So they think that if you were to hand over your power or hand over control, if you let them steer this relationship, then everything would be just fine. But see, you don't trust this person. How can you allow this person to lead you? Or how can you allow them to control the narrative when they're always in snake type of energy? This is someone who's really shady. There's something that's going to cause a misunderstanding between the two of you in the future. And it's going to have to do with this person either being deceptive, lying to you, or falling for temptation. Huh. Give me more. So, yo, they could come toward you with some toxic energy or they could come toward you with toxic motives. Thank you. All right. We have anxiety and that card came out in reverse. And we also have fear here. So this person is a bit stressed out at the moment, but they're using something to relieve their anxiety. Whatever they're using is unhealthy for them. Even if they're distracting themselves with something or someone else, they're doing it in an unhealthy manner. It's actually causing this person to be even more restless in regards to you. They could be trying their best to come out of depression, 
but I feel like when they come toward you, they're going to make it seem as though they're doing well, like they're in a better space mentally. But see, in reality, this person is uneasy and full of fear. They're worried about you walking away from them forever. For those of you who have been moving in silence, it's making this person feel as though you're hiding things from them. Or they just see what someone who's coming off my serious. Regardless, there's a lot of illusion surrounding this person. So when they come toward you, it's going to be out of fear. Okay? It's going to be out of fear in regards to losing you forever. Hmm. Yeah. Some of you are going to be a bit suspicious of this person when they do come in. If things did and between the two of you if this person broke things off i feel like they're regretting it but there's also an illusion or confusion surrounding the breakup so it's just giving energy of you not having closure or this person not having closure huh. give me more Thank you. All right, we have dates. So they are going to want the two of you to meet up. They could even want to take you out on a date. But just keep in mind that this person could be trying to charm you. If the two of you do meet up, pay attention to the music that they're playing. Okay? Even if you were to talk to them over the phone, if they are playing music... Pay attention to that music because it's not a coincidence. They're playing it because they want you to hear it. At the top of the deck, we have third party. So this person feels as though there's competition when it comes to you. But it's also giving energy of them allowing others to interfere in this connection. For a few of you... There could be a third party involved, whether it's a friend, family member, or another lover. But I still see them wanting to meet up with you. Huh. So just be careful that this person isn't already connecting with someone else. Even if they are, they're still going to want the two of you to link up. It's really hard for this person to resist you because, like I said, they feel like the two of you dealing with each other or the two of you being with one another is something that's written in the stars. They feel like it's predetermined that they were meant to meet you. But it's just giving energy of this person being toxic for you. Give me more. It's also a turn on for this person whenever the two of you fight or whenever the two of you argue. Thank you. All right, we have legal matters and we also have intuition. This is gonna be very specific. Please don't force it to fit. But for a few of you, you could have this gut feeling that this person's about to run into some type of trouble. If it's not you feeling this way, it's them. They feel as though something's about to happen to them. Now, it could be in regards to a legal matter, the justice system. They could feel like they're about to get in trouble with the law. Huh. But yeah, they do want to come in and balance things out after a separation between the two of you or after a time period of being distant. So they're hoping for a reunion. They are missing you. For some of you, they could even tell you that they want to be a family or they want the two of you to make a family. At the top of the deck, we have music. Again, that card does not want to stay in the deck. This person truly is a charmer. They may have the gift of gab. They do want to come in to create harmony but there's something a little bit off about this person's approach. Hmm. But yeah, they could end up in trouble with the law. Now, the legal matters card is also about justice, or it can be about karma. So there's something that this person is going through, 
and they feel like it's because of a decision that they made. They feel like they're reaping karma. Some of you may have even told this person that they were going to reap karma in regards to how they treated you. Give me more. Thank you. What flips over? All right, we have change. So I do feel like this person is trying to make some changes in their life. It's just giving energy of them wanting to right their wrongs. They feel like they made some type of huge mistake. For a few of you, they know that they owe you an apology. There's also a little bit of guilt here on this person's part because they know they got too comfortable. Like I said, they feel like the two of you belong together. They feel safe with you. You're like this person's comfort blanket. But it's also giving energy of this person knowing that they could have treated you better. So, yo, there's energy of regret here in regards to their lack of growth or in regards to them not making changes. They wish they would have done things differently. Give me more. What near future actions? Thank you. All right, we have romantic feelings. So they want you to be head over heels in love with them again. They could come toward you showing affection. At the bottom of the deck, we have divine timing. So if this person has been distant, I feel like they're waiting for the perfect time to come in. For others of you, I feel like there's something that this person's going to do at the wrong time. Hmm. At the top of the deck, again, we have music. There's something that they're going to be lying about. And it could be an unnecessary lie. Or there's something that they're going to say at the wrong time. And it's going to cause a stalemate between the two of you. That's if you're connecting with this person currently. But yeah, they're going to be waiting for the perfect time to make their move toward you after a time period of being suck or stagnant. For some of you, they feel like they wish they would have met you at a different time. Give me more. Thank you. All right, we have ghosted and that card came out in reverse. So if they disappeared, if they ghosted you, if they've been silent, even if they ignored or rejected you, I see this person coming in, okay? They're hoping that you're still single. It's giving energy of this person feeling lonely without you. But they're worried about you having your guard up when they do come in. Now, if you're dealing with this person currently, they feel like you're being a lot more isolated or you're being a lot more guarded than usual. It's just giving energy of this person being in their head in regards to you. So, yo, I feel like they've been thinking a lot thinking a lot about you, reminiscing, trying to come up with ways to make you think that they've learned some lessons or they've made some changes. And so they're going to be making a reappearance back into your life. This is going to be very specific. Please don't force it to fit. But this person is in the middle of a spiritual awakening or they're in the initial stages. But if they have any type of addiction, that addiction is affecting their spiritual awakening. It's affecting their rebirth. This person could very well have spiritual gifts, but they're being blocked because of either drug or alcohol use. This is someone who doesn't even need to be in a relationship right now. They need to remain single. They need to spend time alone. But they don't like being alone. They don't like being alone with their thoughts. Hmm. So yeah, if they're tied to someone else, they still think about you. 
they're living in the past. They still feel lonely without you. Because if they are connecting with someone else and you know for sure that's what's going on, they don't connect with that other person the way that they connect with you. Remember what I was telling you guys about this person possibly having options, but they feel as though you're the better option. If they are with someone else, they're unhappy. They're unhappy. Give me more. They could also come in seeking validation. Thank you. You have storm warning. And if you notice, that card came out touching ghosted. So they're going to be making a reappearance at a time when they're going through something. Coming in when they're going through some type of obstacle, when they have some type of drama in their life. Just make sure that you don't allow this person to make their problems their problem. It's going to be very important for you to read between the lines. This person has a pattern of doing this. They always try to come toward you or they always make their way back in when they're going through something. It's like whenever things are going good for them, whenever they're in positive energy, whenever they're in happy energy, you don't hear from them as much. But whenever they're going through upheaval, they try to come back toward you. Remember what I was telling you guys about them feeling safe with you, you being this person's comfort blanket? I'm telling you, it's going to be so important for you to let this person's problem be their own problem. They're going to come in being kind of vague about certain things that they're going through. They're going to be leaving you to speculate. Whatever they say or whatever they do, it has hidden meaning. There's something about the timing that they come in, okay? It has hidden meaning behind it. But I really feel like it has to do with you bringing peace into their life or you being their peace. Yeah, they're going to be coming in at a time when they're going through something, but they may not just confess everything that they're going through. They're going to mention it a little bit, give you some small details in regards to it, but they're not going to stay on the subject for long. And for a few of you, they may mention something and they're going to wait for you to ask for more details about it. Okay. It's almost like they want you to say, well, what's going on? What's wrong? It's giving that type of energy. So if you notice them doing that, don't play into their hand. Okay. Because the main reason why they're bringing it up is because they want you to fix it. They want you to bring some type of peace into their life. They could even want you to just give them a peace of mind. But see, this is karma. It's karma. So let them go through their own karma because they have to balance out the scales. Give me more. Oh, we have another one that flips over. We have truth. So they're going to come in confessing that they feel as though the two of you belong together or they're going to be confessing how they feel. They're going to give you some clarity in regards to wanting to be with you. Okay. It's going to come through communication over the phone or some type of direct message could be through social media. It's also giving energy of a third party, knowing that this person is still in love with you. So whether they're dating another person or whether they have people who constantly interfere in their life, there's someone that knows that this person is still in love with you, okay? Now, if you know that they're connecting with a third party lover, I feel like that person has either seen some type of text messages or they've overheard something. That third party actually thinks that this person 
is still dealing with you, okay? Or they see you as competition. Now, if you know for sure they're not dealing with anyone else, there could be a friend or a family member who's trying to compete with you. And I don't know why they would feel as though they have to do that. It's so weird. They could even give you clarity about this. So if you know that they're dealing with another lover, they could tell you some secrets in regards to that person. They could reveal some things that have been going on. They could even reveal that that person is always worried about you. Even if it's a family member or a friend, they're going to end up revealing something to you in regards to how that person has interfered or how that person tries to compete with you for them. Huh. And even if they don't just come out and completely confess it, there's going to be something they reveal that gives you clarity in regards to it. So, for example, if you know for sure they have another lover, they could tell you that they're always bringing you up. See, that's going to be the way that they reveal that the other person feels as though you're competition or the other person feels as though the two of you are dealing with one another. They're going to say that the person mentioned you, okay? It's either that or they saw some type of text messages. They could even say that the person is making it seem as though they've heard something about the two of you. Now, if it's a friend or a family member, they're going to say something that lets you know that the person has been interfering in the connection. Whether it's them encouraging this person to cheat or them talking about you. But something is going to be revealed that's going to give you clarity in regards to a third party. But who the third party will be is going to be different for all of you. Hmm. Give me one more card. What near future actions will be taken toward my viewers when it comes to love? Thank you. We have player. And that card wanted to come out crossing and it fell out on top of storm warning and go sit in reverse. So this is someone who can be a bit manipulative. For a few of you, if this person disappeared on you, if they started ghosting you all of a sudden, or if the two of you broke things off, they could have been dealing with a karmic or it's because of some type of karmic pattern. Be careful that they don't try to come in and manipulate you with words. I just feel like this person's going to come in really charming. But see, what's underneath the surface is a storm that they're going through. Or what's behind the scenes is their upheaval. Yeah, you're going to be a bit tested when this person comes in. Okay? Okay. And it's a lesson that you've already learned, but I feel like you're going to be tested to see if you apply the lesson. And the main thing I'm seeing is to allow this person to go through whatever they're going through, not to interfere. It's like whatever they're going through, allow them to go through it alone because you don't want their chaotic energy attaching to you. So make sure that you remain guarded. I feel like you guys are enlightened and you've learned a lot of lessons. You have gone through a rebirth. So it's going to be important for you to apply what you've learned. Some of you are going to notice this person being toxic online. And I want to say that I mentioned that in another reading as well. You're going to notice some type of toxic behavior online or you're going to notice that they post little things, but it's aimed toward you. Now, for a few of you, this person could post something about drugs or alcohol. It's going to be different for all of you. 
I wouldn't be surprised if they say something that lets you know that they've been spying on you. They may mention something that they shouldn't know, but it's going to let you know that they've been spying on you. Hmm. So, yeah, they do have romantic feelings toward you. And I do feel like this person's going to come in showing affection. They may want the two of you to meet up. And they feel like the relationship isn't over. You do need to be careful with dealing with this person because there's some type of repetitive pattern that they put you through. So make sure that you don't allow yourself to carry this person's baggage. Sometimes you have to set boundaries with yourself. They're admiring you from a distance. I also feel like this person is reminiscing about times that they could have done things differently or they're wishing that they would have treated you better. It's also giving energy of this person feeling as though the two of you are meant to be. But at the same time, they don't treat you in that manner. They're trying to come out of depression or this person is a bit restless in regards to certain things that they've been going through. The main reason they're going to be coming toward you is out of fear or out of suspicion. Some of you may feel a bit uneasy when this person comes in. So it's going to be important for you to listen to the, those gut feelings and listen to your intuition. They seem to be going through karma right now. And it's going to be very important for you to allow them to lay in the bed that they made. There's going to be some upheaval or some type of obstacles interrupting this person's life. And it's going to be important for you to guard yourself so that you don't attach their karma to you. Okay. You don't want to feel the wrecking ball. I feel like divine intervention is at play here. So it's going to be important for you to trust the process, especially for those of you who do want to reconcile with this person. They're going to be revealing that they still feel connected to you. OK, they're going to confess it in some way, shape or form. They may not just come out and tell you that they feel as though you're their soulmate and they feel as though the two of you are meant to be. But I do see you gaining some type of clarity in regards to how this person truly feels deeply connected to you. They're also going to be revealing something in regards to a third party. Now, who the third party will be will be different for all of you. But you're going to be getting clarity in regards to someone else that they've been dealing with romantically. Or you're going to be gaining clarity in regards to someone else who is close to them. Someone who has played a toxic role in this person's life and who has interfered in this connection in a major way. This person is in regret. They feel like they made a lot of mistakes. They feel as though they owe you an apology. And I do also think that they want to grow. They want to change some things. But there's an issue with this person just sitting with themselves and being alone. The main thing that will benefit them is to stop dating. They don't even need to be entertaining anyone. They don't need to be in a relationship. They don't need to be dealing with anyone on a sexual level. This person just needs to be alone. Okay. They need to get their life together. Hmm. So yeah, when they do come in, just make sure that you pay attention to your intuition because whatever they're going through is for a reason. And the reason they're coming toward you is for a reason. But I feel like they're not going to be clear in regards to that. So many of you will have to speculate. But if you pay attention to what they say and if you pay attention to their actions, it's going to be made very clear to you. Hmm. All right. And so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family.
I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.